yourself a chance to stay in this game. Vucevic, mid-range jumper, short. Eight straight points for Milwaukee. Now look at it, the other end of the floor. Oh, Marvin Williams and Ennis have to be separated, and Ennis, I believe, threw a punch. And if he did, he's gone. Wow, this is two guys that you rarely see in something like this. You know, there's guys you expect. I didn't see what precipitated this, but these are not two guys you would expect to be in this. We'll have to go back to take a look at where this developed, but a wild sequence. James Ennis and Marvin Williams, bottom of your picture, fighting for the rebound. You saw Williams take the shove and then step in, and that was what got under Ennis' skin. And right there, Stan, we'll see how the officials deem that. Was he flailing his arms to create space and get Williams off of him, or was that a punch? Mm. Well, I don't think it was a punch. I think that Darvin Ham getting in there ended up slipping more than anything. You know, one rule of thumb is never guy. We have a double foul. Never the guard are in, grab a guy on the other team to determine if there's a potential hostile act. All right. So you heard the officials at the table. They will take an extensive look at this here. Right now, the play is in review to determine if there was a hostile act of the sub play. As they look for a hostile act, you know, me as a coach, I think, I would think if I'm Steve Clifford that what Giannis is doing today to me is a hostile act. Coming out and playing <laughs> like this, I consider that hostile, Spiro. I'm with you, coach. You know, it's a different definition. I know it might not be in the rule book, <laughs> but I would like to be able to challenge as a coach and say I think he's being hostile toward my aspirations of winning this game. Mm. I've never quite thought out of it under those terms but I'm with you look at Marvin Williams drawing at Ennis Ennis of course who has had such a, a crazy route coach to get to this point playing with his seventh NBA team Steve Clifford has really enjoyed coaching him all the grit the strength that he has brought to this club you actually coached him a little bit in Detroit yeah, I love James Ennis great competitor great person totally about the team will sacrifice will play whatever role every time one of these fights happen you always have to pay attention to the benches do any players leave the vicinity it looked like the coaches did a, a terrific job you see Budenholzer not even looking at the fray he's looking back at his bench players to make sure everyone stayed put absolutely I mean that's something that I think everyone in the nba has has learned it's something that every coaching staff talks about and your first reaction as a coach all the time is to turn around and make sure your players stay on the bench quite honestly a little easier in this situation here in the bubble the way they have the benches set up some of those guys would really have to make a fairly lengthy trek to get around the barrier and everything and get out on the floor, that probably helped a little. I didn't see anybody come off the benches. I don't think we'll have a problem there. I think the issue is going to be whether or not James Innes stays in the game and whether or not they call that a punch or if he's just trying to free his arm up as right. they're grabbing him, which is what I think he was trying to do. He's certainly not trying to get his fist up anywhere near Marvin Williams's head. I hope he does not get tossed out of the game.